<sighs> oh man, it was just a dream. I decided to get out of bed and start my day. I put on my robe and wizard hat and went to my office. I was kind of bored, scrolling through wizard Twitter, looking for something to do, when suddenly it hit me. Citizens of Silvermoon, we find ourselves locked in combat with the might of the Scourge and are seeking a brave wizard to serve as assistant to the regional alchemist. Please send applications by portal or pigeon. Lady Liadran. I knew what I needed to do, but first I needed the right tools for my application. Now that I have everything, it's time to start. Hey everyone, hope you guys enjoyed that skit. I had a lot of fun putting it together and I'm super excited to show you guys these new cards for my first card reveal. All of these cards are kind of like an arcane mage theme uh, for March of the Lich King, the new expansion. Uh, and they revolve around arcane bolts. All of these cards are either arcane bolt generators or ways to enable it, either doubling it or uh, reducing the mana cost of arcane bolt, which can work with some other cards as well. It's not specifically arcane bolt, but this is the package that I, I, I get to show you guys. So arcane bolt itself is very cheap, it's flexible. It can go face, it can remove stuff off board. So it can be removal, it can be damage. Uh, because of this, I think it can fit into a variety of decks. It can fit in sort of a tempo mage deck. Uh, all of these pieces, except for Vexless, are very, very cheap cheap here, so you could play for Tempo with some of these cards, um, or save them together for some sort of combo. So I believe Tempo Mage could make a comeback uh, with some of these cards, and I think uh, a combo-oriented mage where you draw your whole deck and try to uh, blow up your opponents with all this arcane damage from hand is also uh, a viable strategy. I think this could also perhaps fit in a, a weird quest mage as well. Maybe not all of these cards get included, but including Vexless and a couple of these generators with some extra spell damage could end up being very, very spicy. Now, in terms of how much damage you can do without the quest, um, you can generate ar eight arcane bolts just with these cards alone if you exclude random generation from other cards that currently exist. Eight arcane bolts by itself is 16 damage. Um, if you're mana thirsted, which means when you have eight or more mana, you actually deal three damage per arcane bolt instead of two, um, the, the eight arcane bolts times three ends up being 24 damage. With Vexilus, before eight mana, if you use all the arcane bolts, it will end up being 32 damage. And if you use the combo at eight mana or more, it will end up being 48 damage. So you can absolutely OTK someone. I'm curious and excited to see what kind of decks people are gonna come up with with these cards. I know I'm definitely gonna give these cards a go when March of Lich King comes out. Hope you guys enjoyed the card reveal and I hope to catch you guys next time.